We did it again, Twin Cities. There's another local restaurant putting us on the map and getting national attention for putting out inventive food. Eater.com named Kaluna one of the 15 best new restaurants in the country. More than a year after opening, we are the first local camera crew to go inside to get the Kaluna story from Chef Anna Med herself. The snow is piling up, but step inside Kaluna and you're hit with a brightness and warmth that radiates by design. I don't know if anybody would walk in and not have a smile on their face, but I came off a trip of like, um, it was a food retreat with all the Laotian chefs around the world that we met up in Laos and we got to hang out for a week and talk about our food and everything. And so to me, that's where the inspiration came from. It was really like, you know, thinking of being in a luxe resort and being feeling like taken care of. This is Chef Ann Ahmed's third Minnesota restaurant, but it's the first that is a fearless representation of her and her evolution. My family were refugees here. Minnesota has always been our home. And so it's like when people ask about like, you know, the style of my food, it's hard to say that, you know, it's Laotian food because I left at such a young age. And the Laotian food that we're cooking is like, you know, has a Minnesota twist to it, you know. So I like to describe my food more of like, you know, Laotian, Minnesotan, American. But as a young chef starting out, it wasn't that simple. Her first restaurant was in Brooklyn Park. So I literally bought my restaurant over the phone, and that was 18 years ago, and that's how Lemongrass became. And at that time, it was not like, you know, people didn't really know Lao, Lao food. And so it was, I was very hesitant, and I decided not to, to, to call my, my restaurant Lao restaurant. Instead, it was Lemongrass Thai cuisine because that was what was more in the mainstream. She moved closer to the city with Lat 14 in Golden Valley, and now she's in Minneapolis, where she's always wanted to be, with Laotian food that is unapologetic and undeniable. I like to kind of describe my restaurant as kind of like you can visualize my journey and see the growth within myself as a person. Yeah, you're getting closer to your true self with this restaurant. Mm -hmm. Yes. That has to feel it takes a really long time. Good. Yeah. Yes, it does. It feels really good and I feel like it's an organic growth and a growth that um, I'm proud of. Anne's roots and her home of Minnesota meld beautifully from top to bottom. You know, it, it all seems like it came from a very exotic place, but a lot of it is like, you know, we use local artisans. Um, so these huge dome lights that are over 250 pounds and took over 100 hours to like hand carve out was made by a local artist named Adam Croft here in Minneapolis. Wow. And the wood here is is natural to the Midwest. So it wasn't like flown in from like Bali or anything like that. The brightness and warmth of the dining room carry into her food. But I think, you know, myself as a chef, I'm really known for my curries. She says the whole snapper turns heads, but her seafood bucatini is a crowd pleaser right now. So we're going to make some red chicken curry. So colorful. Just like you said, the inside of your dining room, like you can't not smile when you're sitting in there. I feel like it's the same with the food, right? You look at it and it just is energizing. Popular foodie site Eater.com likes it too, naming Kaluna one of the top 15 new restaurants in the country. How did you feel when that came out? It was like, it was really exciting and it was kind of like, oh my gosh, is this, it's like, Really? Is it? Is it really us? <laughs> to be in that category of like one of the best in America, that was, that was incredible, and I think it's 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 well deserved for the Laotian community and for Lao food. Dining at Kaluna sort of feels like being at a sophisticated friend's house, but Chef Anne really lets you in, and you feel that in her home goods shop right. that's connected to the restaurant. So I would say like about 80% of, of the things in here are from my home country of Laos, and wooden spoons are my thing, so I always like um, to pick up wooden spoons whenever I'm traveling. Even the name itself, Kaluna, means to please, and certainly Chef Anne Ahmed is doing that in her own way. That's kind of like me, and you know, like I'm, I'm proud to be um, Lao Minnesotan, and you know, and it's exciting to be able to have a Laotian restaurant in a city that I absolutely love. Isn't it beautiful? So in that back room where they have the home goods, that is um, that shop is open during restaurant hours, but they also do private dining events. And get this, they are even having a wedding soon, Jeff, back in there, like ceremony. Wow. Everything is happening. So the first Kaluna wedding, which they're very excited about. You mentioned it. I'm sure Mike will agree. It, it, 
does look like so welcoming in there, especially mm -hmm. with how cold it was outside. I like that contrast you mentioned. That, I want every, I want everything. Yeah. I want the plates. I want the, the wooden <laughs> yes. spoons. I want the food. I want the drinks. That's I, why I said it's like going to your friend's house. It's not this trendy like restaurant like, oh, mm -hmm. I would never do this in my living room. You're like, I want to copy yeah. everything <laughs> and I want to live here. Um, they didn't let me stay past closing, like but were, I would. It felt like you were sitting in her kitchen yes. in a moment there. That it was cool. definitely is that vibe. Very, very cool restaurant. Well,